After four years of fundraising and hard work, the Johnson County Animal Shelter is now open. The ribbon cutting ceremony was today and WYMT's Chandler Markey was there. Mark your calendars for July 1st. That's when President of Whiskers Are Wags, Lisa Trusty Roberts, says they will start taking dogs and cats at the shelter. We know what it's like for these animals. A lot of them are injured, um, they've been abused, and now when they bring them to us, we'll, we'll take care of them and we'll love them and we'll find them forever homes. This day has been a long time coming for the crew who started the project. It's, it's hard to describe. This is just, it's a miracle. Um, if, if you see what we had before, um, the judge and the uh, Johnson County Garage crew, they took such pride in what you see back here. These candles are amazing. Four years and too many fundraisers to count. Now they can start helping animals. Jeff Shuro is a board member of Whiskers or Wags. We don't just bring an animal into the animal shelter and turn them loose. We got to examine them. We got to give them shots, rabies shots. Check them for parvo. While those that work at the shelter say they've come a long way, they still have a list of things they need, such as cat and dog beds, cleaning supplies, and a van for transport. Trusty Robert says it's important that you call them if you find a stray animal. Now people have a place to come if they've lost their pet. You know, before sometimes they didn't have that option. Now that the shelter is open, they say their new goal is to keep people with their pets. In Johnson County, Chandler Markey, WIMT Mountain News. You can find information on the shelter as well as adoptions and how to make a donation to the shelter by following the link on our website, WYMT.com.